I've been waiting for the new Webflow interactions for a while now, as I believe a lot of people did. They have kind of promised this a lot of time ago and they took their time building it, but it's finally here. And last week they emailed me that they kind of enabled my account for kind of a beta team of testing and trying out the new interaction 2.0. I'm super, super excited about this. I actually didn't have time to play with this at all, but today I'm going to learn how to use this and already implement this on a real project that I need to be working on today. So I'm pretty excited. Basically, I need to uh, redesign the landing page of Prospero. It's been kind of like, I don't know, like three, four months since I've created it. And even though I've kind of changed the hero of it last week, the whole content of it needs to be revamped with all the new learnings that I understood, uh, kind of how to communicate our product better. And I want to use the new interaction from Webflow to make the page really cool, pop up and engaging. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend the morning trying to learn what's possible with the new Webflow interaction. I'm going to watch, they've created some uh, demo videos. So I'm going to be watching this to both learn how to use it and see what's even possible. Then I'm going to go to, into Sketch, redesign the page you know when I have the ideas of how I'm going to use those interactions and hopefully if I get this done by lunch I can spend the afternoon actually building the page in Webflow with all the new interactions should be feasible I think it's a bit tight but I love those one day challenges so here we go <laughs> exactly noon actually and I've finished learning about the new interactions and updating the design of the landing page. Let me show you what I did. So basically this is the image that uh, I've created last week but I've uh, broken it down into components. It was made in Photoshop originally so that I can make it a uh, nice parallax effect when, when scrolling. Basically I've updated all the content and images based on new benefits that I, I learned that uh, people are interested in doing the interviews. I think mostly I will use parallax effects in all different places and in this place I will try to sequence the animation uh, interaction to show how different skills change and it changed the text but uh, I think in all those little places I think parallax will be cool. So. So far, I'm good uh, on my timing, so I'm happy about that. I think I will take a little lunch break right now and perhaps a little walk outside to refresh, then head back and start building this in Webflow. <music> All right, lunch done, nap done, walk done. It's funny, the other day I was posting a video about eating lunch making me feel so tired and there were so many comments. I couldn't believe so many uh, viewers of the vlog are, are so engaged about, you know, eating, when you eat, carbs, power naps, and being productive, but I'm super glad. I'm trying to implement the feedback, feeling good and energized, jumping right into Webflow. <music> Okay, it has been two hours and a bit, like two hours and a half, and I've completed building a page in Webflow. I gotta say it was kind of a brain intensive and I kind of feel tired right now, but I'm super happy with how this came out and I'm pretty excited that I was uh, able to grasp how to use the new interaction really, really quickly uh, and do complicated stuff without like any complicated tutorials or walkthrough. So let me show you how it came out and how I did it. So basically, this is the page. When it loads, there's a sequence of the icons showing up and then when I start scrolling, there is kind of this parallax motion of each of the icon is moving in a different speed and the nice thing is that some of them are behind and some of them are in in the front so there are different layers and they're moving in different speeds. 
Uh, when you scroll down, then th this proposal also scrolls. Notice, and it's kind of being revealed from under this uh, line, and it's also moving in a different speed from from the iPhone here. Um, this is basically an animated GIF, so not too much here. But this is also a complicated animation that just shows the text and uh, changes the opacity of each icon. Here we have another um, little um, kind of parallax scroll with the proposals moving uh, behind and in front of the cloud. And yeah, basically that's it. Let me show you how I did this. So basically, um, what we have here is, we have two things here in the front. We have uh, something that happens when the page loads. And basically, it's a sequence. You can see here the sequence of all the icons showing up. So this is their initial state. I'm hiding them. And then in different times, I'm showing them. So before using the uh, previous interactions, I would have to create a different kind of interaction for each element. And now I can just do onload, make this sequence, and it's really much easier to, uh, to sequence and, and see how this comes out. So this is how I did the icons. Then we have here while page is scrolling in view. Um, and I have all the parallax here. And this is how you see where you are in the scroll. And there's amazing new things called live preview is on. And when you're scrolling, you can see which scroll position you're on and see how this reacts actually live inside the Webflow editor without having to publish and preview every time. Now, I feel like Understanding how parallax works is super complicated. And even before with the simple scrolling interaction that Webflow had, I never really understood what does it mean comes into view, uh, out of the view, what does 20% mean, 80%. I would always like mess around for hours until I got it to work just the way I wanted. But now with this new interface, uh, it's so much easier to understand what's going on in the live preview. It's just genius. So you guys working on the Webflow UI you did super great work because it's really kind of self-explanatory and it's really easy to, to understand. So basically, again, you know, I'm never happy. It was just two hour work. I think there's a lot of things here that uh, I could have done much better. I'm actually not going to publish this on the uh, Prospero domain right now. I'm going to wait probably for next week until we come up with a new pricing. And then I like just this page with, with our new pricing on it uh, as well. But uh, I'll, I'll put the link from the, from the Webflow domain so you can play this uh, around with this for a little bit and see how this works on your browser because I really feel this is like next level awesomeness, being able to do this without code. I'm super excited about this. So that's it. That's it for today. It's like almost five. I think I'm going to take a, a bike ride to relax. It's again, it's been pretty brain intensive, but uh, I love the challenge and I feel like I got to improve something real, the, the Prospero landing page. Uh, that's the third itera iteration on this uh, page. And I feel like every time it's looking a bit better. So hopefully by iteration number 10, it will be like pff, amazing. All right. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you next week. Mm -hmm.